and they are engaged. This is autonomous action. The robots are relying on their pre-programmed instructions to taxi away from the tarmac, earning two points each, and then to score in either the lower or upper hubs. Unofficially, at the end of the autonomous period, we've got the Red Alliance out in front, 24 to 20. Both alliances having placed five pieces of cargo in the upper hub. Teleoperated period now engaged. Far side of the field, that's the Igniters scoring for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance comes right back at it. Team Kerr getting it into the lower hub. Scoring two pieces of cargo there before being challenged by the Botcats, the mighty defender for the Blue Alliance. Shooting long range and connecting, Team 340, Greater Rochester Robotics. Scoring cargo in the upper hub. 46-11 on the move there on the right side of the field. Now center field trying to keep the big squad in check. Not before scoring on their own. 44 to 30, still too close to call. Remember all of these robots are experienced climbers. Big squad unable to connect as 340 slammed into them, pushing them out of range at the last moment. And as they did so, that allowed their Alliance partner to score two pieces of cargo in the upper hub for the Red Alliance. Red Alliance extending their lead now, 50 to 30. Big squad racing now back to the Blue Alliance hangar, trying to get in position. Into the hangar goes 30-15, Ranger Robotics, the Alliance captain. Already on the mid run, reaching back for the high run. Big Squad now moving from the mid rung to the high rung. Now extending its dual claw to reach back and grapple onto the traversal rung. They've got it. 30-15 for the Red Alliance on the move. That's Ranger Robotics. Ranger Robotics with a big head start, big lead going into this period. Alliance number one pulls this one out, 60 to 49. Red Alliance able to score 46 pieces of cargo during that first finals match.